Hello. Did you know that God uses even the geography of the earth to declare his glorious good news of the gospel? We had the privilege of going to Israel last year, and in Israel we visited the Sea of Galilee. Beautiful water from the streams of the mountains flow down into the sea, but then from the sea it flows down the Jordan River all the way down to the Dead Sea. Now the Bible says the Jordan River, which is actually in Hebrew, Yarden, it means descend. And as it goes down into the Dead Sea, it is carving a path deep into the earth. So when you're standing on the banks of the Dead Sea, you're actually standing on the lowest point on earth. It is the lowest point, and then in that water, it is so low and so deep under the ground that it's full of minerals and salt, eight times saltier than the Mediterranean Sea. As a matter of fact, nothing can live in the Dead Sea. It flows down into that Dead Sea where there's no fish, not even any amoebas. It is so thick with minerals, it's hard to sink. You can float in that water very easily. Now this Dead Sea is a picture and a symbol of hell. There's no outlets once you get there. Now there's a story in the book of Joshua that explains the gospel from this geographic standpoint. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 3, So when the people broke camp to cross the Jordan, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. Now the Jordan is at flood stage all during the harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carried the Ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge, the water stopped flowing a great distance away at a certain town with a certain name. I want to give you the name of that town and show you how God used this picture to declare his gospel. 19 miles north of the Dead Sea, the water stopped flowing at a town called Adam. You see, from Adam, all mankind and all life begins to flow. But because Adam sinned, his nature was sinful and corrupted. So from Adam, every race, every nation, every continent, every people group all over this world is flowing with a corrupt nature down to the Dead Sea, which is a picture of hell and the grave. There is no escape for mankind. No matter what religion we enter, no matter how, try, how we uh, try to be good, no matter what we're trying to do to earn our way to God, we have a corrupt nature and are on our way to death, hell, and the grave away from God. But do you know when that Ark of the Covenant and those priests carrying the Ark stepped foot in the Jordan, the water from Adam stopped flowing and all of the people, two million people of Israel, crossed into the promised land. They crossed through that Ark of the Covenant that had stopped the water flowing from death into life. Jesus Christ is the Ark of the Covenant. His very, the very box of the Ark is a picture of His body. And inside that Ark went the sin of mankind. It was covered with the mercy seat of Christ. So you can picture that cross of Calvary going across the Jordan River where all mankind is flowing to death, but through Jesus Christ, we can cross into life. A geographic picture explaining the gospel. You can find it in Joshua 3. God bless you all.